David Menzies for the Rebel.media here in Montreal. Well, folks, it's like deja vu all over again. Two weeks ago, when I was last in this city, I was here to cover the story of the Amman Hassan Guillet, who was being turfed from the Liberal Party of Canada as its candidate of record in the riding of St. Leonard, St. Michel. Once it was revealed that Mr. Guillet had a history of making anti-Semitic and anti-Israel comments. Well, lo and behold, the newly minted candidate here in Pierre-Fonce Dollard, Samir Zubari, he too, it's been discovered, has a history of making anti-Semitic and anti-Israeli comments. For example, he's a supporter of the BDS movement. Uh, he believes Israel is a apartheid state. He is a supporter, naturally, of Omar Khadr. And he's also a bit of a 9-11 conspiracy theorist, saying the jury is still out as to whether or not Osama bin Laden had anything to do with the tragic events of that day. Now, he's made himself extremely scarce uh, from the media, including the mainstream media. But he has been posting on Facebook. And interesting, what he said about these allegations about him is that it was all a distraction tactic by the Andrew Scheer Conservatives, uh, who are hoping to distract the electorate from picking up on the fact that his party has ties to far-right extremism and white supremacism. Those are... Uh, Mr. Zabari's comments. Anyways, I'm going to try and find if I can see where Mr. Zabari is in the writing and ask him to justify his statements of the past and also to find out why the Liberal Party of Canada had a problem with Mr. Guillet for making similar remarks but seems to have no problem whatsoever with Mr. Zabari and his remarks. Now, my quest to find the whereabouts of Samir Zubari brings me here to the office of the current incumbent for the riding, and that would be Frank Bayless. And uh, Mr. Bayless wasn't in the office either. And that's too bad because, you know, folks, I would have loved to have interviewed uh, Mr. Bayless. He is, after all, the MP who back in 2016 started an e-petition that garnered some 70,000 signatures about stamping out racism and religious discrimination. Now, that would be the basis that the MP Ikra Khalid would base her M103 motion on. Of course, Islamophobia was added into the, the mix, one specific type of religious discrimination. And I guess my question to Mr. Bayless would be, how does he feel that being the grandfather, if you will, of M103 that the potential new MP to represent this riding will be somebody who has been accused of many examples of anti-Semitism. I really wonder what Mr. Bayless would have to say about that. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, if you like that video, please press like and subscribe and never miss another Rebel video.